Hello friends, and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another Buy Request Song Tutorial. In today's session, I'm going to be breaking down a song that was a huge hit for John Mayer in 2018, entitled New Light. Now this is going to be a basic version for solo performance, featuring some easy open position chords, a basic strumming pattern all the way throughout. Now if you want to learn how to play John's guitar solo from the track, you can click this card right up here in the top corner for a full lesson on that section. Now let's get started with a full demonstration of the tune. I'm going to break out some microphones, including the SR314 by Earth works and uh, the perfect companion mic, the SR25 for my guitar. Let's see what you can figure out using just your ear and your musical intuition, then you can move on to the instructional segments. One, two, three, four. I'm the boy in your other phone Lighting up inside your joy at home all alone Pushing 40 in the friend zone We talk and then you walk away every day Oh, you don't think twice about me And maybe you're right to doubt me But if you give me just one night you're gonna see me in a new light Yeah, if you give me just one night To meet you underneath the moonlight Oh, I wanna take two I wanna break through I wanna know the real thing about you So I can see you in a new light Take a ride up to Malibu I just want to sit and look at you, look at you What would it matter if your friends knew? Who cares what other people say anyway? Oh, and we can go far from here And make a new world together, babe But if you give me just one night You're gonna see me in a new light and if you give me just one night To meet you underneath the moonlight Oh, I wanna take two I wanna break through I wanna know the real thing about you So I can see you in a new light But if you give me just one night You're gonna see me in a new light And if you give me just one night To meet you underneath the moonlight What do I do with all this? What do I do with all this love that's running through my veins for you? What do I do with all this? What do I do with all this love that's running through my veins for you? What do I do with all this? What do I do with all this love that's running through my veins for you? What do I do with all this? What do I do with all this love that's running through my veins? Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with the intro section. Now, for this part, I'm starting off with a riff that's buried in the track. It's a really cool little funky line that he's playing. It sounds like this. Okay, so we are in the key of G major. Okay, so we're basically using that G major scale. Going to the major seven note of that key, very cool. Okay, so we're playing five down to four on the D string, then to the seventh fret of the A string, and then down to five. 
you're going to repeat that. Three times before playing. Five, four on the D string once again. Okay, put all that together, we've got. Okay, then in my version, I'm going into the chord progression after this, although I want you to know in the original track, those two parts are being played together. Okay, now moving along to the chord progression that you're hearing in the intro section and also in the verse section. This is the main progression of the tune. It's gonna be A minor for one measure, D major for one measure, to G major for one measure, and then a C major chord, and a C walk down, that's a G slash B chord, second fret A string, first fret of the B string, that gets you back to the A minor chord for one measure. Okay, if you put all that together, we have A minor, one, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, and C, two, C, walk, A minor, two, three, four. Okay, moving right along, learning how to apply a basic calypso strumming pattern to that chord progression. So getting started with the A minor chord, that strumming pattern will sound like this. All right, very simple, just down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, if you want to count it, it's one, two, and three, and four. Okay, the basic calypso pattern, you can spruce that up a little bit. You can try just putting the bass note on beat number one. Or you can try cross picking it. Bass down E, B, G, B. You can even throw some strums at the end, just kind of mixing the two techniques together. Bass down E, B, down up. All right, one more time. All right, so many different ways that you can make that calypso pattern a little bit more interesting. Okay, if you apply that to the rest of the chords, we have the A minor chord, the D chord, the G chord, and we're gonna change it up for the C, walking down from the C slash B to the A minor. Down, down, up, walk. Okay, so for that C major section, I'm playing down, down, up, then I'm gonna grab the root and then upstroke on the B string. Do the same thing for a C slash B chord and then to the A minor chord to start the progression over and get back into my pattern. Okay, so far you had the A minor chord. Down, down, up, up, down, a D, down, up, up, down, a G, down, up, up, down, a C, down, a walk. All right, then now we're on the A minor chord. We're kind of starting over again, but we're gonna stop at the G major chord. Down, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, up, up, down, up, G, two. And then we're gonna throw in a quick lick, just borrowing from the synth track on the original uh, recording. Okay, so that was right in between beats two and three. One, two, 10 going up to 12, sliding up to 14, back to 12, and then down to 10. All right, then we're gonna play. All right, that was 10 to 12 on the B string, nice and short. We repeated it twice. Then we're going down a whole step, hammering from eight up to 10, and then going down to the eighth fret of the B string for some vibrato. That's a G note. Okay, so it matches the key of the tune. All right, so we're resolving there. You put that entire intro together and we have A minor. D, G, C, down, up, walk, A minor. D, and one, two. All right, if you have that, then you're ready to move into the verse section. Okay, very well done everybody. You have that intro section down and that means that you basically have the verse section down as well because it's mostly verbatim. So just applying what we've learned so far, we have the A minor chord. I'm the boy in your other phone Lighting up inside your joy home all alone Pushing 40 in the friend zone We talking then you 
walk away every day Oh, you don't think twice about me Ah, now, the last line. This is the place where it's going to change. We're going to throw in a B dominant 7 chord shape just to wrap up the verse and get us into the chorus section. Okay, so we have the G major chord. You apply the calypso pattern. And then a B7 chord shape gets the calypso pattern as well. Okay, now I like to play the B7 without the pinky on the 2nd fret of the high E string. Okay, so I've got 2nd fret A, 1st fret D, and 2nd fret G string, open B, open E string. Okay, but if you like this tonality with the pinky down, alright, that'll be up to you. Okay, so starting again from that A minor chord shape. Oh, you don't think twice about me, and maybe you're right to doubt me. All right, then that'll get you into the chorus section. Okay, very good, everybody. You have the intro and you have the verse down. Now, moving on to the chorus. Good news, it's more of the same. Same chord progression and the same strumming pattern. So let's just play through it one time and let's see if you can fancy it up with a little bit of that cross picking and separating the bass note on the first beat of each measure. Okay, so getting started with A minor, we have one, two, three, four, and A. But if you give me just one night, you're gonna see down a walk, walk, A minor. Yeah, if you get me just one night, G. Underneath the moonlight, oh, I wanna take two. I wanna break through. I wanna know the C down a walk, A minor. So I can see you in a new light. Alright, let the G chord ring, and then throw in that little lick again. Get you into the next verse, which will be played the exact same way as verse number one. Okay, fantastic work, everybody. Now you're starting to get the gist of the song. All of those verses and all those choruses are going to be played the exact same way. Now, where we are now in the song, we would have verse number two, followed by chorus number two. Those are played the exact same way as the previous verses and choruses. Now we're going to end chorus two again with that cliffhanger on the G major chord. So, if you're starting from the A minor chord, it would be So I can see you in a new light One, two, three, four, one Then we're going to throw in another synth lick to get us into the bridge section. Okay, so start in the bridge section with that synth riff. One more time real slow, the G chord rings One, two, three, four, one Right after beat number one there, this really cool descending G major pentatonic scale, essentially. Okay, so that began on the B string, 8th fret, going up to 10. Alright, then to the 7th fret of the high E string. Then 10-8 back on the B. And then to the G string, we're playing 9 down to 7. Same thing on the D string. And then go down to the 5th fret of the D string, a G note the root of this key. Put all that together and we've got. Okay, and it's a very fast lick, so practice it slow and then gradually increase the tempo. Okay, in context, we have the G major chord ringing out. One, two, three, four, one. Should sound like that. Okay, from there we're going to jump into a chord progression. So this instrumental bridge, we're going to have the G major chord for two measures, followed by a C major chord for two measures, then to an E minor chord, two measures, and then to a D major chord for two measures. And we're going to keep this rhythm. minor and D I then return to the main progression for the guitar solo okay so let's break down that rhythm and then you'll basically be ready to perform okay so applying some rhythm to that G major chord real slow again 
Okay, so essentially what I did there was down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down on the dead strings there at the end. Okay, so real slow. A little bit slower. I need to repeat that again on the G chord. Okay, now to the C major chord, the exact same rhythm. Plenty of room for variation there, so give it your own twist. Just mimicking the original track. And then to the D major chord, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down. Squeezing my hand to make some of the strokes a little bit more staccato, a little bit shorter than the others. Okay, if you have that, the D major chord. You're gonna go right back into the original rhythm. Okay, that verse and chorus chord progression for the guitar solo section. Okay, excellent work today, everybody. You have the intro, you have the verse, you have the chorus, you have the instrumental bridge sections mastered. Now, you're basically ready to perform, because after that, we would have the guitar solo using the main chord progression. We would have the uh, third chorus, which is going to be identical to the other choruses, only shortened. And then we'd have the coda, which is just the exact same rhythm guitar techniques, just applied to some different lyrics, okay? So, what do I do with all this? What do I do with all this? Love that's running through my veins for you. Repeat that four times to finish up the tune. Congratulations, everybody. You're ready to perform. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on New Light. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash with lessons. I hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in. Please subscribe, please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.